ما فراتر از یک سنف درسی به آموزش ادامه می دهیم. برای آموزش بیشتر چینل ما را سبسکرایب نموده و با دوستانتان شریک نمایید. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Let's Learn English. I'm Dr. Ibrahimi. Once again, we are talking about an important grammatical title. So previously we talked about letters. We said that a letter is a standard symbol with a special sound. So that was something that we talked uh, previously. Today we are talking about another important title that is word. So what a word is. So there's a question in your mind that what is a word? So word is exactly a group of letters, group of letters, that is word. But this is not a complete definition for a word. So what is a word? We can say that uh, a word is a letter plus letter plus letter, then it will be a word. But there should be a condition. What is the condition that that group of word, letters that they are put together the group of letters that we have together, it should convey a meaning or it should be based on logic. It should be based on a logic, otherwise it is not a word. So group of letters that they are put together and it is based on a logic, it will be a word. How? For example, if we say here, la pramagana, so what is this exactly? We have group of letters that L, P, R, N, G, N. So, but this is not a word. This is not a word. So, what is? Uh, what could it be? So, it's not a word. Uh, it cannot be a word. Why? What's the reason? So, we have group of letters. Why it's not a word? Because it does not convey any meaning. It does not convey any meaning. So, uh, if I say the word book in here, it conveys a meaning. It conveys a meaning because. Uh, this is a group of letters put together and it has a meaning and it is a word. So, we understood what a word is. خب عزیزان در ویدیو قبلی ما در رابطه به حرف صحبت کردیم گفتیم حرف عبارت است از یک سمبل استاندارد با یک صدای مخصوص با یک صدای خاص اون حرف گفتیم و امروز در رابطه با کلمه صحبت میکنیم یا واژه صحبت میکنیم که کلمه چی است خب کلمه گفتیم عبارت از گروپی از حروف هست که کنار هم قرار میگیره ولی شرط شنمی هست که باید بیست آن لاجیک باشه یا بر اساس یک منطق و سوار باشه و یک معنا را افاده بکنه در اون صورت ما برش کتا میتونیم یک ورد یا یک کلمه خب به طور مثال ما در اینجا گروپ از حروف داریم ولی یک کلمه نیست مثلا L, P, R, N, G, N سو معنای نمیده و او خاطر ما یک کلمه گفته نمیتونیم ولی کلمه بک یک گروپی از حروف است ولی معنا میده به اون صورت ما رو برش میگیم یک واژه یا کلمه اوکی okay. our today's discussion is about those important words that they form the language those important words that they form a language and it has a name and that name so i'm going to write you what that is so we are talking about p o s Somehow you are confused that what is this? So POS P stands for parts, O stands for of, and S stands for speech. Parts of speech. What are parts of speech? These are exactly the basic words of a language. So, what are parts of speech? If anybody asks you that what are parts of speech, you can say that those basic words of a language or those words that they are the base of a language, they are called parts of speech. So, these are, these are exactly the building blocks, the building blocks of a language that is called parts of speech. As you know, for example, when we see a building or a house, a room, so uh, when we are uh, looking to the wall, we put bricks or blocks together to build a house. Same is the case when we are talking about a language, so it also needs building blocks. So what are those building blocks? They are parts of speech. So parts of speech are the functional words of the language. Now we are talking about the number of parts of speech. The number of parts of speech, uh, it varies in many different books. So we have eight parts of speech. We have eight parts of speech. The first one is a noun. Uh, 
uh, a pronoun, an adjective, an adverb, let me write it somehow beautifully, adverb, a preposition, a conjunction, and interjection. So we have about eight parts of speech, a noun, a pronoun, an adjective, an adverb, a preposition, a conjunction, and an interjection. So we have eight parts of speech. These are exactly forming the language and they are the functional words of a language. So uh, now we are talking about each of them one by one and we describe them one by one. But this is, uh, keep in mind that this is an overview of parts of speech. We will talk about it later uh, and we will discuss about each of these parts of speech specifically and we will have a specific videos or lectures about each of these parts of speech. So first of all, let's know what a noun is. What's a noun? So a noun is the name. A noun is what? It is the name. Now we, you will ask that noun is the name of what? It is the name of? It's the name of a person. Noun is the name of a person. Noun is the name of a place. Noun is the name of a thing. Noun is the name of an animal. So, noun is the name of a what? A person, a place, a thing, an animal. Or the name of an ideology or idea. So, uh, how? Whatever exists in the world, anything that you see in the world, it has a name. And that the name which is given to that thing or that, that existing uh, uh, that's a thing that which exists in the world that is the noun so what for example the name of a person we can say Obama Obama is the name of a person the president of the US not uh, I mean the current president the former president before Trump so Obama another name can be Khan Mr. Khan Khan, it's the name of a person, or Ibrahimi, yeah, it's my last name, okay? So, a uh, person, the name of a place, so any geographical area, or anywhere, any part of the world, anywhere that we see it has a name. Uh, for example, we say Kabul, Kabul, or uh, we say the name of uh, a region, for example, Berchi, Berchi. Or God is saying, or anywhere, anywhere. Name of a thing. So things are a lot. We have some of the things that they are visible, some of the things that are, they are not visible, invisible things. Uh, some of the things we can touch, some of the things we cannot touch. So, but from A to Z, whatever exists uh, uh, that has a noun, uh, that has a name, which is noun. Okay. So for example, we can say a chair. Or you see this object that I'm writing with that. It has a name. The name of this is what? So it's a marker. So this marker is exactly a noun. The name of a thing. Noun. The name of an animal. So all animals, you know, lots of animals. So for example, an elephant, a dog, a cat, a bird. Many different things. So like a cat like uh, for example okay a hen a hen okay name of ideas exactly name of ideologies or those for example uh, so ideology name of ideologies for example like capitalism capitalism what is capitalism it is the name of an idea so it's an economic uh, terminology capitalism or Racism, racism, or nationalism, or many others, many others. So it is the name of what? An idea. So it was an overview of uh, the noun. So we said uh, the noun is the name of a person, place, thing, or animals, or idea. خب دوستان عزیز در رابطه با اجزای کلام صحبت میکردیم که گفتیم اجزای کلام عبارت از کلمات است که در واقع یک زبان میسازه قبلا نوشته کرده بودیم که the basic words of a language یعنی کلمات اساسی یک زبان مثل از که یک خانه نیاز به بلوک یا بلاک یا خشت یا هر چیزی که 
یک دیوار امار بکنیم این شکل وقتی ما یک زبان را بخواهیم که اجزایش را بحث کنیم اجزای سازنده و فنکشنل و اساسی یک زبان به نام پارس اف سپیج یا اجزای کلام یاد میکنیم که اجزای کلام در کتاب های متفاوت عداد متفاوتی گفته شده ما معشت هایش میگیریم نون، پرونون خب نون اسم پرونون زمیر اجیتیف صفت ادورب قید پرپوزیشن حروف اضافه کنجنگشن حروف رد و انترجکشن هم حروف ندایی و یک پارس اف سپیج دیگه ای که در کتاب ها ذکر شده آرتیکل است که او را در بعض کتاب ها نگرفته به او خاطر ما او را ذکر نکردیم خب uh, uh, I wish you all the best uh, Thanks for watching uh, Try to subscribe the channel and share it with your friends and try to activate the bell uh, Have a great time Thanks